This video is about some of the IT concepts and areas of the concern for risk practitioner. Some key aspects from exam perspective. What is the objective of conducting peer review of firewall configuration? Peer review is the process of validation of work by one or more people with similar competency. Objective here is to detect the errors and ensure firewall configuration is set as per security policy of the organization. What is the process to ensure that firewall deployments are in accordance with security policy? To review the firewall parameter settings. In this process, firewall configuration is verified in accordance with the security policy. Let us discuss some practice questions. A risk practitioner noticed that emergency door is kept open throughout the day so that employees can leave the building faster. However, this gives rise to the risk of unauthorized entry from emergency door. Best way to address this issue is to Place a security guard near emergency door. Locking the emergency door is a risky proposition if key is not available during emergency. Biometric access control is a risky proposition as it may give false negative, risking the lives of employees. Calling the local police is not the best alternative. So, best option is to address the issue by placing a security guard near the emergency door. Main reason for conducting a peer review of implementation of firewall configuration is Objective of a peer review of firewall configuration is to detect the configuration errors. It does not intend to review the performance or to provide training to firewall administrator. Also, peer review does not intend to waive the change management and approval process. Best process to ensure that firewall deployments and not deviating from security policy is
review of firewall parameter setting will help to determine whether deployments are in accordance with security policy or not. Other options do not directly help us to determine the compliance with security policy. Which of the following is greatest risk with respect to confidentiality of credit card data? Storing of credit card data in DMZ will expose it to some external attack. Masking of first six digit or last four digit is not mandated by payment card industry standard. Only in between six digits should be mandatorily masked. TLS protocol is a secured protocol for data transmission. Thanks for watching.